Hey team, this is Mike with Rocket Garage and Service. This is a new series I want to start on the tools I have around my garage. This tool is a Milwaukee cutoff wheel. I like to go through some of its pros and cons that I have experienced, discuss some of its features, and then we'll run through some tests of showing the performance of the tool. So first off, you can see through the data plate, cutoff tool is what it's meant to do. I'll tell you when I purchased this tool, I was really wanting a right angle die grinder. I got caught up in chasing a promo with to receive a free, um, free 3 8 ratchet. Um, just got lost in the sauce of just ch chasing that promo. Um, truthfully, this tool is awesome, but if I had to do it again, I would still get that right, right angle die grinder. For auto mechanicing, for me, it's more uh, multi-use. And I'll discuss why, and we'll go through some features first, and then we'll get into the cons. So first, the battery. Was very happy with this. I have several M12 products that hopefully will go more and more um, into this series of reviewing them. This is a 4.0 battery. I thought that dealt with the amperage because this is a 2.0, but going interchanging the batteries, which it does work, it seems like the only difference is the battery life. It does have a battery indicator. It's advertised to go 20,000 RPMs. Um, you can see it has like an automatic braking feature, which uh, anybody has experience with pneumatics, they just kind of the loud whistling and carry on for a few more rotations. To lock it to change out your tool, see that detent? So we'll spin it. I press this detent button and just hold it till it clicks. Not bad. And then you get you your Allen head and twist it off. It did come with a additional shield that I was able to put over this and it came with different attachments, but it only came with uh, one of each. It came with two metal type um, disc and then this type phenolic disc, which is primarily what I used around the garage. I didn't see a need for that attachment. It does, um, it does come with a vacuum holes um, hookup, so you can try to vacuum out your dust and everything for more like a home use. And that's what we're rolling to next. I find this tool is more for the home user, uh, for maybe tile, drywall work. This disc is only three inches. It, it just seems very awkward for the automotive mechanic, the way it's designed. It's bulky at the head, so it's hard to get into tight areas. Um, like if you're cutting off the exhaust on your car, it just, I'd rather have a die grinder. This has cut locks, it has cut um, piping and metal, but tight areas. It's almost like having your impact that's too large. Um, you need that feature and it'll make life easier, but the tool holds you back uh, just due to its style. Um, so it does have a neutral feature, so it's almost like lock, which is nice because if you have it in your tool bag, you won't have this thing running and damaging other tools or running its battery dead, which has happened to me. I keep all my tools in a um, in a bag together as far as my electric tools. And then I like I really like this feature though. Of everything about it, it's probably my favorite. You can actually control the direction of your spark. Depending on which way you flip the switch, it turns in a different direction. See if anything else. So it does have like events here. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty generic. Um, it is brushless. I'll go into that. Um, definitely, if you're chasing. Uh, power and it's a good quality tool. Go with the fuel series. That th that free 3 8 ratchet that came with this was not a fuel. Um, I'm still going to have to go out and buy another 3 8 ratchet because I, I need the torque. 
that 3x ratchet doesn't deliver the torque that is needed. Um, I do have another tool, uh, a skill saw that is not fuel and it does everything I need. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to cutting uh, two different types of metal and just see how it performs. And then we'll carry on to the situation where I, it did not perform well for me and hopefully someone else could avoid um, maybe getting the wrong product or maybe a tool's a, a better decision like the the heavy duty the m18 angle grinder which is would have been better suited for that situation so we're out in the garage um this is a piece of angle iron i had just some scrap piece appears to be i don't think it's quite a quarter it might be a quarter um but pretty you know hefty steel so i'm gonna hold this with one hand record with the other hopefully ain't too bad the audio will probably fade out, so I'll give it a second to come back when I get done cutting. But let's just watch how this tool performs. So at the end there, I was putting really heavy pressure on it. I was seeing if I could make the wheel um, go into like an overheat feature, which is what I ran into cutting on some aluminum at a door. Short intermission here in this, uh, the clip of the cutting the steel. I do wanna explain why I watched other review videos. Not so much for ideas, but I want to see maybe I was using this tool wrong um, cause like I said I did have a bad taste in my mouth about this uh, uh, originally and watching those videos I actually learned this was more of a homeowner uh, tool versus a auto mechanic tool. So I just want to clear the air on that, nothing got sideways. Um, some people really got more fancy than where I'm willing to be right now with tool reviews but it was really for me expanding my knowledge and not wanting to give a bad review on a tool when it's the end user who's using the tool incorrectly of uh, doing some housework it um it's like it almost was overheated and i was running it for a long period of time and that's something else when i was watching other people review this product before i made this video that was their biggest complaint is under long durations it had like a a protective circuit on it and which made sense uh why i kept running into issues that day and i had to pull out the old cord uh grinder was pretty disappointed in that but as you can see we cut a good chunk into this metal and it didn't um, give a lick no more than a pneumatic tool would so i have a um, piece of stainless exhaust pipe i'm gonna put it in this vise and we'll watch how it performs on it so this is a piece of stainless, as I said. This is off my F body. I mean, I don't know anything else that would be more cumbersome. I mean, the, the stainless is usually the, the products that you're painting, that's your pain in the butt. Aluminum is gonna cut easy. I mean, it cut through that quarter inch steel well. So let's see how it does on this stainless. Again, one-handed. Sorry, I couldn't put much pressure on it. The device was letting go. All right, hopefully the, hopefully the audio came back. So I had to tighten up the device and uh, then I could uh, apply more pressure and once I did that, it cut through it smooth. Um, overall, good tool. 
um, it does everything I need it to. It's just really the way the head's designed. Um, I do not own a straight uh, die grinder or an angle die grinder. That's actually on my bucket list of tools to get. Uh, I've really moved away from pneumatics. I do have a compressor and I have all the pneumatic tools. It's just the cord and having let the air compressor build up. Um, it's just inconvenient where you, Milwaukee has really put out a great line of tools. Anyways, guys, comment, like, describe. Um, please give me some feedback on these tool reviews. I'm sure I'll be changing up the way I, I do them. Uh, just trying to give real world feedback. And I'm not going to lie, when I first made a video about this, this is my second go at doing this. I was not happy after my um, trying to cut that baseboard in the long duration. And then when I started making this video and noticed how well it cut for these small applications, it just brought the, um, the joy back into the, the tool and the usefulness into it. So that's my honest feedback. Um, again, we'll move on and continue doing these. If you have a tool that you would like to see, maybe I have it. I have the impact. I have skill saw. I don't have seven or eight. Now I got a bunch of variation of other hand tools. I've been mechanic in around 17, 18 years of spending a lot of money on Snap-on and the Mac truck and Mac Co and various other tools. Thanks. And we'll do it again.